Now let's talk about match. So match is almost like the last method which is search. So they both take in a regular expression, they both match the string against the regular expression. The difference here is that match will return an array with some informations about the match inside and search returns the index of the first match that occurs. Well, when match fails, it returns null and search when fails, it returns minus one. And now let's talk about what's gonna go inside this array here with some examples. So I have here the same string we used with the search method. Now I'm gonna call a match on my string text here and then I'm gonna pass in a string. Now the same thing again because match and search takes in a regular expression. So they both will go and convert this to a regular expression using regexp object. Now I'm gonna assign this to a variable res and this res now will be an array. So we said that match will return an array. And inside here, I'm gonna get the match. So this is the match and the index of the match uh, or where the match occurs. So the index is five, zero, one, two, three, four, five. And the input here, so the original string and groups uh, is set to undefined because we didn't use any groups in our regular expression. So that's the difference. Now for search, it only returns the index as a number. So if we use search here instead of match, we're gonna get five instead of this array here. Now I'm gonna go and pass in a regular expression. So this is the same thing as passing the string because match will go and convert this string to this regular expression. So I'm gonna get the same result. Now, if I call match with a global regular expression, in this case, I'm gonna get all the matches without these properties here, index input group. So I'm gonna get just the matches that occurs in the string here. Now, if I use the flag case insensitive, I'm gonna get the same result again. So just an array with the matches without these uh, properties here. So the last thing is when I use a pattern that doesn't exist in my string, we say that we're gonna get null. And now let's move on to match all. So match all is the same as match, except match all will return all the matches in a string, not just the first match in a string. The syntax is the same, so match all will take in a regular expression. Let's see some examples here. So I have the same string from before and let's call match all on our text string here and pass in a string. Now match all will go and convert this string into a regular expression. So this is like calling match all with this regular expression. But there is one difference here. It's not just gonna go and convert this to a regular expression, but to a global regular expression. So that's the difference between match all and match. So match will convert this to a regular expression that is non-global, but for match all, it will convert this to a global uh, regular expression. Now I'm going to assign this to a variable res result, and then uh, this will be an iterator. So if you want to iterate over this, you need to use a for of loop. So for this, I'm just gonna go and spread res and then put this inside an array. Now I will get an array here as a result and inside I will get all the matches because this is match all. So I'm gonna get all the matches. So this is the first match. So if you remember, this looks like what we get using match. But this time we have all the matches. So each match here is an array we have the match itself and then its index where it occurs. Then the input and groups. Here the second match happens at index 25 and the last one happens at 40. And now let's go and play with this. So I'm just gonna go and add this case and sensitive. In this case, I'm gonna get the same results except this will return now four matches here because now this matches this regular expression here. Now, if I go and look for a, a pattern that doesn't exist in our string, I'm gonna get here an empty array. So when using match, we got a null, but when using match all, I'm gonna get nothing here. 
And now for the last example, I'm gonna go and pass in a non-global uh, regular expression. So this will return a type error. So match all must be called with a global regular expression. So if you pass in a regular expression without the global flag, in that case, you're gonna get this error. And that's it for match and match all. Now let's move on to the next method.